place back down the road called Beekman's, Beekman's Diner. Anyhow, that's where I found that truck I have out there. There's a radio in the truck. I had jumped in to listen to it when a big gasoline truck came screaming right across the road. But there must have been 10, 15 of those things chasing after it, grabbing and holding on. Now, I didn't see them at first. I could just see that the truck was moving in a funny way. And those things were catching up to it. The truck went right across the road. Slammed on my brakes to keep from hitting it myself. It went right through the guardrail. I guess, I guess the driver must have cut off the road into that gas station by Beekman's Diner. It went right through the billboard, ripped over a gas pump, and never stopped moving. By now, it was like a moving bonfire. Didn't know if the truck was going to explode or what. Could still hear the man screaming. This thing is just backing away from it. I look back at the diner to see if, if there was anyone there who could help me. That was when I noticed that the entire place had been encircled. There wasn't a sign of life left except by now there were no more screams. I realized that I was alone with 50 or 60 of those things just standing there, staring at me. I, I started to drive. I just plowed right through them. They didn't move. They didn't run or just stood there staring at me. Just wanted to crush them. They scattered through the air like bugs. We were riding in the cemetery. Johnny and me. Johnny. We we came to Puerto Rico. On my father's grave, Johnny, and, and he, he said, can I have some candy, Barbara? And we didn't have any. And, oh, it's hot in here. Welcome to a night of total terror. <laughs> 